Chapter 4. It was still dark out when he opened his eyes. He sat up to check the clock. 4.10 a.m. He could hear Steve and Penny talking, but he couldn't hear what they were saying. He pushed himself up and walked into the living room. Penny and Steve were holding hands on the couch, their faces happy. What is it, Jaden? Penny asked. Then he realized he didn't know why he'd gone into the living room. I don't know, he said honestly. Honey, darling, come sit with us, Penny said. Jaden hesitated, then sat on the other side of Penny. She smiled. Are you packed? Yeah, I'm done. Good, she paused and smiled again. Thank you for giving Catherine a piece of your mind. Jaden half smiled back and Steve chuckled and said, how in heaven's sake did you end up the sister of such a pompous, obtuse, pretentious, whatever she is? I think she's a humanoid, but I'm not sure. She's good inside, Penny insisted. You think everybody, both Jaden and Steve, started at once. Jaden paused and Steve continued. You think everybody is good inside. That's because everybody is good inside, she said. Well, maybe not every single person. You're the only one who's good inside, Jaden said. I'm not. Of course you are, Penny exclaimed. She had so much faith in him, even after all the lies he'd told her about setting fires and ditching school and stealing. She still had faith in him. What if you don't like the baby, Jaden suddenly asked Penny. What then? Of course I'll like the baby. You didn't like me at first. Of course I did. Well, at first you did, and then you didn't. She most certainly did, Steve said, most certainly and indubitably. She got mad at me all the time. Oh, Jaden, Penny cried out. Even if I get mad at you, I still love you. And I wasn't mad. I was exasperated. Jaden knew that there were lots of nights when she had cried in bed for hours because of him. She, he had heard her. Then somehow Dr. Wilder had helped him out of the fire setting. And the way Jaden saw it, it was only then that Penny loved him wholeheartedly. He had heard Penny on the phone beget, begging Dr. Wilder to keep seeing him while he was writing his book. But that hadn't worked out. I know, Jaden said, though he didn't know. He went back to his room and lay on the floor again. His teeth chattered from the cold, but he didn't close the window, just lay there shivering. He refused to get warm, and he refused to love anybody or anything, including that quilt. He heard laughing from the living room, which made him feel lonely, and then it grew quiet. Steve seemed to have left for work. Jaden closed his eyes and kind of fell asleep, and he was surprised to open his eyes and see Steve leaning over him saying, Jaden, get off the floor. Steve hadn't woken him up when he was on the floor ever since Dr. Wilder had told them to let him sleep down there if he preferred it. Hey buddy, how'd you like to come to work with me today? See how the best salesman in the state wins over a new client. Steve was a salesman for a food distribution company. The company delivered food to restaurants and institutions, it was called Sherman Manufacturing and Distributing, SMD. Jaden loved it when Steve took him to work. It was in it was in what Penny liked to call a bad neighborhood. There were homeless people sleeping on the streets a block in any direction. They really interested him. Tall barbed wire fences surrounded all three of the company's buildings. Today I'm trying to sell our frozen soups to the Calmex chain, Steve said. Wait, not trying. I'm going to sell them our soups. They're one of the biggest Mexican restaurant chains in America. I like the frozen corn soup best, Jaden said. I like the bits of corn because they taste so fresh. And I like the mushroom soup second best. It's the best corn soup on the market, Steve said proudly. His eyes went dreamy. Then, quality ingredients equal quality results. Cool. Steve had probably been a happier man before Jaden came. Now Steve, and off, Steve often was on guard, and there was something sad about him. At this point, he definitely liked work more than home. Jaden imagined Steve got a thrill whenever he won over a new restaurant or hospital or school. The schools usually bought some of the lower grade items, while some of the restaurants bought what the company used to call the premium line. Then SMD changed it so that the lowest grade items were called premium, and the highest grade items were called super premium. They also added a line called premium value added, which was in between. 
Value added had become their most popular line. Get up and get dressed and we'll head out. No, absolutely not. He is not going with you, Penny said, appearing in the doorway. It's too much stimulation. We're going to Kazakhstan today. You know what Dr. Morgan used to say about overstimulating him. Steve asked, which one was Dr. Morgan? But he got up and left the room, stopping to kiss Penny. Jaden, it's freezing in here, Penny said. She worried too much about things. It was annoying. I'm sleepy, Jaden said, which didn't have anything to do with it being cold. But his sleepiness was suddenly urgent. He needed an unusual amount of sleep every night, like 12 hours. He closed his eyes and had a vague feeling that Penny had shut the window, but he was already too far gone to know if the room was warm or cold.